feel like when I came to prison, like I lost a lot of myself. And this is a reminder of what I used to be and what I can still be when I get home. Like, I just never thought that something like this would happen to me. And then sometimes you think that it's the end, but twice a week I know that it's not the end and I know that there is hope for me and I know that I can redeem myself through Shakespeare, through the facilitators um, and through this program. Like, the fact that the program has grown so much, I think it's because we as participants have grown so much. If we hadn't grown, the program wouldn't have grown. Every time I'm here, I learn something new. It's, it's Nietzschean in a way. It forces me to have that power to will. And I'm excited to be a part of it. Every time I feel like quitting or giving up, there's all these people next to me just encouraging me to go further. And that's something in my life that I have always had, but I, I took for granted. You know, you don't take it for granted in this situation. You're always looking for someone to have your back, and I feel like that here. I have a family here in Shakespeare. The reason I'm still in is because this is the one thing that gives me stability. Like, no matter where I move in the prison, no matter what friends I have today or tomorrow, um, the ensemble and the facilitators, to me, are like my stable people that have they've been there steady through my whole time here. So it's really my rock. I look forward to coming here every class. I mean, I gain something new out of it. There's so much, oh, I can't even explain. Like, whether I'm having a good day or a bad day, this is what I look forward to. This gets me out of prison. It helps me gain perspective on things I'm going through while I'm here. Um, the people in the group, whether it's the facilitators or just the members of the group, they help me get through it, they support me, they give me encouragement. It's like an extended family. I mean, I just love this group. Society is set up that like you do good so you don't lose privilege. So once all your privileges have been lost, it's arguable that there's no incentive to be good anymore or to be a good person or to work on yourself. And uh, so to hear the stories of the women who are really trying to better their life, you know, despite no one really seeing it or despite no one giving them credit for it or uh, despite it having no impact on their sentence, you know, just because it's the right thing to do. Um, just because they feel a sense of freedom in doing so. I was a heroin addict and like I've used drugs for the better part of my adult life. And so coming to Shakespeare and having to like explore areas that Shakespeare has touched on for hundreds of years has made me learn things about myself that um, I didn't expect Shakespeare to teach me and also like I've learned that like getting on stage is its own like exhilarating thing. Um, I don't know how else to explain it except for it gives me like those same kind of feelings that like drugs did and it's it's like an empowering thing. It's incredibly empowering to do something that you didn't think that you could do. When people think of prison, they think all oh, those people should be locked up and they should, we should throw away the key. But the fact that you all come in every week, like, shows us that maybe other people will care about us and that we are worth the work and the thought that you all put into us. It's so, I hate to say the word inspiring again, but it like feeds us. Like we're in here starving. Like it's literally like we're starving for something, for somebody to like give us some sort of something. I don't even know what that word is that I'm looking for, but we're starving and you all come in and you feed us. And it's beautiful. The facilitator's role in Shakespeare in Prison is to act as a guide to the process, not as an authority, not as a teacher, um, but as someone who may have more experience in theater maybe has more experience with literature, but who is not a scholar of Shakespeare, who is not a therapist, who is not there to impart knowledge. But we all come in with a, essentially a set of tools 
and we sort of put them on the table and say, does anyone want to work with these? I also feel like I am a member of the ensemble, you know, so I'm a facilitator, but you know, how I understand the program's aims are like, there's no authority or my authority does not come from my station. Any authority that I have only comes from my experience in theater. And now at this point, five years in, there are people who've been in the group for long enough that they act in that role as well. And, they, and then rather than me sitting there and saying, believe me, you can do this, it's another prisoner sitting there saying, I didn't think I could do it either. And then last year I did this, and this year I'm gonna do this, and you can do it too. So Shakespeare, I think, is one of those universal subjects that, like I said, most of these plays were written in the 1500s, and here we are in 2017, and we're touching on, you know, love and family and manipulation and deceit and all these things that are still going on today. And people think that they can't, they can't understand Shakespeare and that it's above their understanding like their comprehension and it's not I just wish that everybody would see how amazing Shakespeare is like not even just the program just the material you have to be honest to be an actor I always thought you could just play a role and that you were faking something but finding out that being an actor is learning how to be honest and open and be vulnerable um, learning that it's okay to make mistakes and just to be able to treat each other in a way that's like respectful and compassionate and not not act like um, superficial I guess and phony like I have felt like I have out in society that I've had to play certain roles and in here I can be safe and learn things that maybe I've never learned before out in my life. Uh, I feel like I've made up for a lot of things missing pieces in this program and I've gotten a lot of um, recovery through it. The main focus of the research was the fact that this specific applied theater technique of prison and theater is able to one, create safe space and create a sense of self. And because of these two different things of space and self, they're able to engage in critical conversations and critical self-reflection within this space and among these people in a way that they wouldn't be able to do outside the doors of the theater or the Shakespeare in prison space. They felt that they were in a comfortable enough space to reveal um, different intimate facts about themselves. So for example, the woman that came forward when we were dissecting a character and decided to talk about how when Desdemona, she doesn't fight with Othello to say like, oh, you shouldn't smother me, you shouldn't kill me, it's, it's totally fine if you abuse me. And this woman came forward and said, I had that same exact feeling when I was in an abusive relationship. And that was extremely striking that one, she could reflect like that, identify herself within the text, but then two, also feel that she was in a safe enough space to share that. Sometimes I could be pretty self-centered and pretty arrogant. And in Shakespeare, you have to learn how to share. <laughs> it's not always about you. It's about other people. And um, it really helps you to self-reflect. Also, I never thought I would connect with these characters. But when you study the works, it's amazing how you connect with all these different characters. I never thought I would learn more about culture and people here. And I never thought I would learn humility. I mean, I thought I already had it, so there's, I just learned so much in here. I guess there's not just one specific thing. It comes at you from all angles. With each play that we perform, each story like inspires me. Even though like some of them are tragic stories, some of them are comedies, I feel like redemption is in each story in some way, shape, or form, and that's what we all want in prison. We want redemption. We want to come out on top of this and not let it define us. The problem with allowing people who've been incarcerated to be in invisible, the problem with not giving them resources um, that they may really want to, um, to gain perspective and to change and to uh, do things with their lives that are more constructive than they've maybe had opportunity to do before, is that even though we can't see them right now, they are still members of our community. Most of them will be released from prison. 
And when they come back to their communities, if we don't give them the tools they need to do well and to not go back to prison, they are very likely to go back to prison. And that's a burden on them, it's a burden on their families, and it's a burden on our communities. What I've gotten in here, I've gotten nowhere else in prison. I'm sure that I won't be returning, and a lot of that is contributed to Shakespeare. I don't think I would have ever thought about other people enough, or myself enough. I've learned so much about myself, and then how to just maneuver in society in a positive way, that I have positive things to contribute. I really have the talent to be who I want to be, and I don't think a lot of people get that if they're stuck in their own little shallow boxes. And it's more people than just in prison. You could be in prison, not in prison. <laughs> I've been there. We have millions of people in prison in this country. And so the culture of prison is incredibly important because if, if you go into prison and you are already broken and you come out even more broken, what chance do you have? What hope do you have? You better have a really good support system and you better have a really strong will. And the problem is that that is, that is not the case for many, many, many people. And that's why we have this incredibly high recidivism rate. And so whether we're talking about people who are going home or people who are in prison for the rest of their lives, this kind of programming is extremely important because no matter where they are, it's, it's all one community. It's all our community. And the ripple effect from one person to another is infinite. I feel like no matter how educated, uneducated, this is a place where you can come and you can be safe and you can grow and you can learn and you can have that kind of um, bonding relationship with people and learn how to operate in a group, but also to have like real friendship and support from your peers. So it's a really good program. I would recommend it to anybody, in or out. I recommend it for a lot of people. I tell everybody on grounds they need to come watch it, they need to get into it, they need to sign up. All the people that are just getting here from RGNC, especially people that are shy or introverted, they really need to take this program, especially people with mental health illnesses and stuff. This is a good way for them to self-soothe and to utilize skills to help them. Um, all of my best friends that I've met in prison, I met through Shakespeare. And I feel like Shakespeare brings a certain type of person, you know, somebody that has commitment and somebody who's dedicated and just like my type of people. You know, like people that want to find something positive out of something that, you know, the rest of society doesn't look at as positive. We've all grown as a family and I've seen like such like giant strides for each person that I've gotten to know, including myself. Watching them get up on stage and gather up the courage and perform these pieces, I would not ever, ever want to change my seat in that audience with anyone, ever, or my seat behind the curtains, just with anyone for anything. To show that she has the strength and the intelligence and the ability and the confidence to go up and do this in front of her peers and do it not just for the audience but for herself was incredible. Sometimes you could just you just are like empty. You know? And Shakespeare really helps fill people up here. And I know that if you people try to put it in other facilities, it would help tremendously. I dream about like when I get home what my life is going to be like after Shakespeare. I don't even think about after prison, but what it's going to be like after participating in this program.